What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Dub from Team Trap House Yu Gi Oh! And uh, over the weekend here, I played in the Knoxville, Tennessee regional. I played Altergeist and I managed to get a 20th place, so top 32. Um, I was literally like a play away from top eight, it just couldn't really seal the deal. So I'll own up to that, but. Uh, I thought I'd go ahead and bring you guys my uh, deck profile, explain some of my card choices, why I played what I played, and uh, let's just talk about it a little bit. So, uh, I played one Altergeist Conquery. Um, this card was really, really good. Uh, I, I still see lists where nobody's, where people are still not playing this. I, I don't think that's correct. So, uh, the three Marionette are standard, three Multifaker also standard. Uh, as far as my hand trap ratios, I just played two Ash Blossom and Joy Spring and two Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Um, Ghost Ogre was fine. The card was really good. Um, I was honestly happy every time I saw it. Um, I played two Silk Witness, uh, Standard, I think, and three Mellow Seek, and that pretty much covers the monster lineup. Uh, two Pot of Desires, two Pot of Duality. Uh, Pot of Duality, I feel like, is like one of the worst cards in the deck, but if you don't see an Altergeist monster within like your first two turns, you're just going to lose. So, unfortunately, I feel like until we get Pot of Indulgence out of Savage Strike, that Duality is kind of a necessity in the deck. Um, two Called by the Grave, this card was really, really good as well. Um, it just, it's just another card that you can play with, you know, uh, it stops your opponent's plays. I, I enjoyed playing it. It did exactly what I wanted it to do all day. Uh, three Infinite Impermanence, that was standard. Uh, two Heavy Storm Duster. Uh, this card, in theory, it's really good if you play a lot of mirror matches and if you play a bunch of Sky Striker. Um, I unfortunately did not, so it was honestly the worst card in my deck at this event. Uh, and I'll be going into the tournament report after we talk about the deck profile a little bit. Um, I played two Altergeist Manifestation. Uh, I, I think this is correct. Uh, personally, a, this was a good number for me. Uh, two Torrential Tribute. Uh, this card was awesome. Every time I resolved it, I pretty much won the game. Uh, two Altergeist Protocol. Standard, I think. Uh, three Personal Spoofing, because this is Altergeist. And that card's amazing. Uh, the one Imperial Order, and then three Solemn Strikes. And that pretty much does it for the main deck. Uh, one, as far as the extra deck goes, we have one Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon, because Waking the Dragons is crazy. Um, then you got Boral Ode, Boral Sword, uh, Triple Burst Dragon. I made this card one time, and it was really good whenever I did make it. Uh... Summon Sorceress, I never summoned it, just played it. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, never summoned it. Nightmare Phoenix, made it like one time. Uh, Akashic Magician, never made it. Uh, Nightmare Cerberus, uh, made it like one time. Uh, then three Hextia, two Link Karibo, and one Clara and Rushka. So that does it for our extra. Let's go ahead and talk about the side. Uh, we played Medi on the Time Lord because this card was is really, really good uh, in the Thunder Dragon matchup. As far as I can tell, unless they have infinite impermanence, uh, Thunder Dragons do not have an out to this card. As far as I know. Uh, if I'm wrong, please go ahead and uh, correct me in the uh, in the comments below. Uh Two Inspector Border for the Mirror Match, this card, and, like, going first against, like, FTK and Goki, like, Inspector Border is amazing, phenomenal card. Uh, two Thunder King Ryo, um, this card was surprisingly good. Um, I only sided it in about three or four times, but every time I sided it in, I, I saw it, and it was really, really good. Uh, three Waking the Dragons to summon our big dumb bird. Um, three Evenly Matched. Uh, for going second, and then three wiretap, which was really good in the mirror and is a great counter for evenly matched and red reboot. So that's the deck profile. And now let's just talk about how matchups went pretty uh, real quickly and we'll uh, move on from there. 
Uh, I uh, played my first round was against Tricksters. Um, I won that match 2-0. Um, second game, I played Thunder Dragons. Also won that match 2-0. Uh, my third match was against uh, the Danger Dark World FTK. Uh, game one, he kind of RNG'd himself to death. And uh, game two, he FTK'd me. In game three, uh, my man took a risky allure and uh, tried to, uh, and ended up banishing his cannon soldier off of allure, made a galaxy tomahawk, and forgot that he couldn't do battle damage that turn. So I ended up winning that game because he depleted all his resource trying to go for an OTK when he couldn't do battle damage. Uh, round four, I played against Goki. Uh, I won the die roll. Uh, and then game two, I opened like three hand traps. So that was like a pretty much free win. Um, round five, let's see, I played Dino Thunder Dragons. Now, like, I think that was a really interesting, that's a really interesting take on the uh, on that deck. Uh, it was really good. Um, we went to game three, but I was able to squeak by with the win. Um, round six, I played the Mirror Match. Um this was my one and only 2-0 uh, Well, no, I think, yeah, we did go to game three. We did go to game three. Um, but I did lose in the mirror, so that was my first loss of the day. Uh, Shout-outs to uh, VCTRFS. You were a really cool dude, man. That was really, really fun to play. Um, then we went from there. I played Sky Striker. Uh, that match ended in a draw. Um, that was a really fun game, but, you know, we just... Couldn't get it done in time. Uh, and then after Sky Striker, I played Goki again in round seven. Um, well, Sky Striker in round seven. In round eight, I played Goki again. Uh, won that match in game three. Uh, and then my last round was against Dark Goki. And I was... Uh, we took it to game three. Uh, game one, I kind of misplayed. I made a bad read and played right into a uh, played right into what my opponent was trying to do, and uh, he got me good on that one. Uh, game three, I got extra linked and I just couldn't play. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, but I think the deck performed really, really well. And in my honest opinion, if these FTKs and Goki weren't running around, I firmly believe this would be the best deck of the format. Um, as you can see, I did not play any Floodgates. Um, the deck just has so many ways to deal with cards. Um, the only deck, the only time that I really missed Rivalry of Warlords was in my last Goki matchup. Just because I wish I would have drew another card that could have broke the extra link. Um... It evenly matched, would have been phenomenal had I drawn this card at all throughout the whole day. A nine-round tournament, never once saw evenly matched, sided it in every single game. Um, so that was unfortunate, but at the same time, I'm glad that it was in there. Um, but yeah, the, like this, this deck was really, really, really good. Um, and I'm looking forward to hopefully we get a ban list sometime this week and we can start... Uh, looking at a new format um, and start cooking up some new deck lists. So here is a, uh, here it is guys. This has been my alter guys deck profile. Uh, got 20th place at the Knoxville regional over the weekend. And uh, just stay tuned to the channel guys. We're going to be uh, uploading more content. Uh, I plan on getting a prank kids demo out later today, maybe tomorrow. And, uh, We'll be looking into some other decks for the format, uh, things that you might be able to squeeze some wins out and stuff with, uh, things that have good matchups in this. And uh, I appreciate anyone that would, uh, you know, subscribe, like this video, uh, leave us a comment. Uh, as far as deck demos go, if there's anything that you would like uh, to see, just go ahead and leave that in the comments. I will gladly uh, consider any and all things that you guys want to see because, you know, that's what this is about. So, uh, until next time, man, I've been Dub from, uh, Team Trap House Yu-Gi-Oh! Join us next time.
peace.